Sup guys, uh, Heat King here bringing you some Resident Evil news, uh, this time on a new Resident Evil game or Resident Evil remake coming out next year in 2024. So apparently Dos Gollum has been doing the round lately. He's revealed some info regarding Resident Evil 5 remake which is going to be coming out in 2026 apparently after Resident Evil 9 which is coming out in 2025. But apparently next year we're going to get a, a, another remake so the, the info here, at least uh, what it said here, the game, so this is regarding Resident Evil 9. The game is due for a 2025 release with a potential for a remake of another installment to release in 2024 while we wait for the game. So Capcom, again, is sticking with its yearly releases. They want to be releasing a game, you know, every year. Now, let's see. Now... The thing is, this is a repeat of what Dos Gollum apparently said literally three months ago. Rumor mill spinning, spinning again. This is a poster uh, reading of what he, what Dos Gollum has said. Dos Gollum has spoken of Ori 9 again. This time he claims the game will release in 2025 and will not be the next game in the series. And will not be the next game in the series. Another game in the works is due in 2024. So... If Resident Evil, so if there's a game, if there's an RE game coming out in 2024, now at this point he doesn't say that this is, I don't know, I'm a bit confused by this. So this is an RE game. This is an RE game in fact coming out in 2024, but it's a remake. But we're getting RE5 remake in 2026. So the only logical conclusion is that this remake is called Veronica. A lot of fans have demanded it. I've demanded it, we did the surveys, okay, and uh, it's a bit weird, because when you go on the, the Reddit forums, for example, you have a lot of people saying they want RE5 Remake next, which just makes no sense to me. Um, whereas, whereas, if you go on other forums like uh, GameFags, and especially YouTube, a lot of people are saying they want Cold Veronica next. So, it's, uh, the fan base is split 50-50 in terms of what remake they want next. But it just makes sense to do Call Veronica next because it's the next, it's the storyline that sets up RE5. Without it, you're gonna have a lot of players going into RE5 wondering who the hell Wesker is, what his relationship with Chris is, um, what the progenitor virus is, what you know, why Africa. All of this stuff is set up, and Spencer as well. All of this stuff is set up in Call Veronica, so it makes sense for that to get a remake first before that comes out. And it would make a lot of sense, and this is just my opinion, I do feel like, because if, if, if Capcom Division 1 is busy right now, working on RE9 and RE5 at the same time, then M2 is not going to be doing anything, because right now they, 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 they did RE3 Remake to disastrous results. It was a good game, it just wasn't a good remake. And then they did, they did work on RE4 Remake before being pulled off from that project, and being put onto the DLC instead, and did, they did a fantastic job with that DLC. So, I feel like they've gained a lot of trust now, to the point where it's like, okay, may, maybe they can be trusted to make another mainline title, and do justice to that. So it kind of makes sense to put them on the Cold Veronica project instead. So, that's my hope anyway. So, my hope is that when we get to next year, and we start getting those rumours, and we start getting those teasers, that Cold Veronica is going to get announced, and that's what we're getting. That's what we're getting for next year, unless... It ends up being RE4 Gold Edition. Which could happen. It could happen. They could end up releasing it. But I don't, I don't think it makes any sense. Because um, when the DLCs were coming out, right, for RE7, they released a Gold Edition for that game around the same time. When the DLC for RE8 was coming out, they released a Gold Edition for that a year after with the DLC at the same time. Do you know what I mean? There was no Gold Edition for RE4 Remake. The DLC literally came out six months after the release of the main game. No Gold Edition inside. So, and not to mention the Shadows of Rose DLC and the third person perspective and all that other stuff was included on a DLC voucher with the Gold Edition of RE8 if you bought that. I bought it and I got scammed because it, was, it wasn't on the disc, it was on a voucher. So, yeah, it's one of those things. It's like, it, it, it doesn't make any sense for them to release a Gold Edition then. Like, just get the game while it's cheap, you know, guys, because I'm sure you can buy it cheap by the end of next year. And you can get the DLC as well because it is relatively cheap. I mean, it, what, what was it? £7.99 pounds here? Like... That's amazing. That's like that's really good. That's really good value. 
But that's the point, though. It, it, it doesn't feel like that that's going to be coming out anytime soon. There's not going to be a gold edition for RE4, so it makes sense that it's another remake, and it makes sense for it to be called Veronica, unless... Unless it ends up being a remake of the original Resident Evil 1, but I just don't see the point of releasing that in 2024, okay? My prediction was that if they were going to do it, it would be for 2026, because that would have been the 30th anniversary of the game. But that doesn't seem to be the case, because apparently that's the Resident Evil 5 remake. So it's a bit weird, it's a bit weird they're doing that. But, uh, I don't know, I don't know, things could change. I don't know. Right now, all I'm thinking is... It's called Ronica and we're getting it and it's coming out next year. And this also does line up somewhat with the leaks from another leaker called Chris Marks. Who was revealed to be sort of a troll. He's another leaker apparently. But I, I don't know how legit he is. But he said that we are getting a Cold Ronica remake coming out in 2024. And that Resident Evil 9 would release in either late 2024 or early 2025. Dusk Gollum is saying it's coming out in 2025. So... I don't know. I don't know what to believe. It's all about waiting to see what happens. But if this is true, if this is legit, then the next three years when it comes to Resident Evil games are going to be a highlight for us fans. Because we're getting Cold Veronica next year. We're getting RE9 with Chris and Joe apparently in 2025. And then we're getting RE5 Remake in 2026. So that's a very good, good bloody next three years. But I'm also curious and wondering, are we going to get remakes? Are we eventually going to get remakes, you know, of RE1 and RE0 done in the RE engine? And are we going to get remakes of potentially Revelations 1 and 2 in the RE engine? And are we, the most important question, are we going to get a remake of Resident Evil 6? Because if they're going to do Cold Veronica, right? I feel like they have to do 6 as well, maybe. Because if they're brave enough to do that, they have to be brave enough to do this. And I know some people are going to say they think about sales-wise, right? But here's the thing. RE6 was one of the highest grossing selling Resident Evil titles. The The reception for it was, was mixed to negative somewhat. But it still sold a lot. And still somewhat sells even today, I think. So I wouldn't be surprised if we do get a remake of that as well eventually. And I wouldn't mind it because uh, while I do like RE6, I don't think it's perfect. I don't think it's great. I feel like it has a lot of problems and a remake could potentially fix a lot of that. So I'm curious to see how this all ends up. I really am. But for now, yeah, this is all the news I had to share with you guys. I hope you like it. I, uh, as always, remember to like and subscribe. And I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care. And bye.